Welcome to The Bottom Line, where we dive deeper into some of the main business and economic stories of the day. So earlier this year, farmers across Europe staged protests expressing many grievances. Poland also witnessed these protests, which challenged the government to address the needs of this sector. Have the Polish farmers been appeased? To tell us more, I am joined by Grzegorz Kozieja, an agricultural expert from BNP Paribas. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So to begin with, not so long ago, farmers across Europe were protesting uh, against the EU's agricultural policies. And we haven't really heard very much from them in recent months. And my layman's assessment is that they must have been very busy over the last uh, few months. But have perhaps they been appeased by the EU and obviously the Polish government? And I'm speaking specifically about uh, our Polish farmers. Well, I think the uh, curious, key reason why they are not in the streets uh, is exactly what you've, uh, what you've mentioned. So the cycle of nature, they are, uh, they are busy with uh, their uh, field works. Um, a lot of the problems that uh, were uh, roots of this protest, they were not resolved yet. Uh, so uh, the, the farmers were protesting against uh, Green Deal. Uh, and the reason why they were protesting, uh, in my opinion, is that it was not communicated well uh, with them. Uh, and it's still not. Uh, the European Commission called uh, the strategic dialogue uh, on agriculture in Europe. Uh, the conclusions of this dialogue uh, are still not uh, there, not, uh, not published. This group still, uh, still works. Uh, uh, they were protesting against um, uh, in free import from Ukraine uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, food goods from, from Ukraine. Uh, there is still not a clear um, roadmap how... Uh, can I just interrupt you there? Yeah. Are you trying to say that perhaps the farmers don't quite understand the Green Deal? Uh, it was not explained to them. They would understand, um, in my opinion, because uh, farmers, uh, if things are explained in plain words to them, uh, in business uh, terms, uh, they they are able to uh, to comprehend it. It's it's not a it's not a problem. They are not against environment. Uh, they are not against uh, species protection, uh, protection, biodiversity. It's all their workshop. Uh, so uh, uh, it, they must uh, be uh, explained that uh, it all uh, is logical. It's not just a. Uh, idea of some bureaucrats from far away. So are you trying to say that the Green Deal actually works in their favor? Uh, well, European policies uh, in general, uh, they work in favor of farmers. So that was uh, one of the uh, reasons why the uh, EU was established to, to uh, uh, create uh, food safety for, for Europe, and that means uh, supporting farmers. Uh, this uh, will not be any different, uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the consequences of the, of the Green Deal eventually for, for farmers. Just the tools they will need to use will be, will be different, uh, but in general they could uh, benefit from it. OK, I want to move on to the crop yields, because as far as we know, it seems that the crop yields look pretty good. Uh, they might be a little bit lower than last year, but overall we're looking at a solid year. Are you able to confirm that from your research? Uh, for most of the uh, crops, uh, yes, uh, I think uh, the mm, decrease in uh, 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 crops of uh, in harvest of uh, uh, some key grains is um, a, a lot due to the fact that the farmers decreased the area they mm -hmm. uh, they were using for these crops for some uh, less uh, um, uh, smaller productions like uh, fruit uh, fruit productions uh, we uh, have a decrease in um, uh, in uh, in production uh, this year uh, 
so here we may have a bit of a trouble, but in general, that's a pretty decent year. Mm -hmm. Because there are some sources that suggest that there are some protests that are brewing for the autumn uh, and that farmers aren't actually uh, as happy as you may suggest. There are some uh, sources that suggest that the crops won't be as high as Statistics Poland um, suggests and actually the harvest will be actually significantly lower. So I don't know whether you can comment on that. Uh, you know, statistics is, uh, statistics, is, statistics is about some general picture. And um, uh, I'm not saying that in some areas, in some fields, for some farmers, that was worse than, than statistic, statistical average uh, says. Uh, so uh, there will be definitely people uh, for whom this year is uh, far worse than the previous, uh, previous seasons. Uh, this group may be uh, large enough to create a considerable protest. Uh, you know, when we talk about few tens, hundreds of people, yes, we can gather such a uh, such a group. Um, uh, and uh, definitely, the economics um, level at this uh, at this year uh, is not as good as it used to be um, in the last two seasons. Uh, so. Uh, uh, Farmers will feel that the situation is worse than recently. However, it's uh, not that far from like the historical levels of uh, profit margins for them. OK, I wanted to just move on to uh, some statements made by uh, the Deputy Agricultural Minister, Michal Kowajczak, because he recently uh, reassured uh, the public that the commitments that were made earlier this year at the European Agricultural Forum will be adhered to um, and that farmers will be supported. And I just wondered whether you could remind our viewers how farmers have been supported financially, because there have been various manners in which that support has come through. Uh, well, indeed, over the last um, year, a little bit more than a, than a year, um, the support from the state, uh, I think I would even say it was generous. So we had a large package of um, uh, subsidized loans uh, to maintain the liquidity of farmers. Uh, we had subsidies to uh, the sold, uh, sold grains. Um, uh, we uh, um, had compensations for uh, uh, frost, uh, for example. So these this, this packages are uh, are quite uh, uh, quite quite large. Uh, so um, I, it seems that the, I, either this or the previous governments they they are operating in a similar way towards uh, towards farmers. So even though there might be some protests that might be brewing in the awesome, uh, would you be able to say that the farmers will be able to rely on the commitments that were made at the forum? Well, farmers uh, are a large uh, and influential group. Uh, uh, and uh, as I said, mm, both the previous administration and the current administration, they seem to uh, have a similar, similar line. Uh, I would maybe say that uh, it might not have been uh, understood uh, in this way from what I was saying, but the, the emotions of the farmers that they express at the protest, they are, I think, uh, true and honest, and they are, they are justified. Mm -hmm. um, uh, however, the overall situation in this statistical terms is uh, maybe not as bad as, as one may read from the, from the protests. Mm -hmm. I wanted to step out a little bit and look uh, towards the EU because we're awaiting the announcement of uh, the new EU commissioners and obviously uh, Janusz Wojciechowski is the outgoing agricultural commissioner and we await the, the announcement of uh, the new one. Um, do you think that now the relationship that Poland has with the EU has shifted? Uh, some view it as more uh, favorable, should we say, uh, to Poland. Uh, do you think that the choice of the new agricultural commissioner may perhaps change uh, the nature of the agricultural policy that the EU has? And obviously that would influence uh, Poland as well. Well, in my opinion, the strategic goals um, uh, of the uh, European Union uh, towards farming uh, are quite well defined. Uh, so the, the overall direction will be will be kept no matter who is the uh, the commissioner. Uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, freedom uh, left for the countries how they shape in details the uh, the policies. Uh, so uh, again, 
who is uh, the commission, commissioner would not be uh, decisive in how, how it is implemented uh, locally. Uh, and uh, yes, we, we will be uh, working towards the uh, agriculture that is more, more sustainable and uh, less harming to the, to the environment. Uh, uh, and that is the strategic goal of the Green Deal of the EU. And just very briefly, uh, my last question, obviously the difficult question of Ukrainian produce in Poland and Polish farmers feel very challenged by that. Uh, how soon do you think that might actually adversely impact uh, the Polish economy, if at all, perhaps? Uh, well, uh, I think they may co uh, coexist. Uh, the uh, food business in Poland and the, the, the agriculture production from, from Ukraine. Uh, there are uh, areas where we can uh, cooperate, uh, where uh, UK production from, from Ukraine uh, could uh, uh, make uh, food production in Poland even, even stronger. Uh, why, for example, we should uh, uh, import uh, agricultural products from the Southern America when they are available uh, next to us. Uh, so uh, I don't think the uh, gravitation of Ukraine towards uh, EU will be something that would be definitely harming, harming Poland. Okay, Grzegorz Krzyzeja, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And that was Grzegorz Krzyzeja from BNP Paribas with us today. Thank you so much for joining us on The Bottom Line. I was your host, Marie Cato. Join us again on Monday at 5 p.m. CET on TVP World. For more business stories, check us out on X and on tvpworld.com. Coming up next, World Talks. Goodbye.